When you own a business, you can't call in sick. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Clean Green Lawn Surface in beautiful South Georgia. 80 something degrees today, I think. Uh, man, I'm just not feeling it. I am not feeling it today. Wish I had some help, man. Ain't got no help today. And, uh, I could have got Elro to come with me, but a bunch of what I got to do is just some cleaning up and stuff, and, uh, I got some projects be really good to have the boys on, but they in school, which is very important, by the way. Not saying they shouldn't be. I'm just saying because they are, I don't happen to help me. Um, I got a couple of yards I need to clean up, and I don't know, man, I didn't sleep last night. The pollen, y'all plow snow up north, we have to plow pollen down here. Got my allergies all jacked up, man. Had a headache for two days. You know, not a bad one, but just, ah, aggravating. Anyway, that's enough complaining. Y'all didn't even ask how I was doing, but I told you anyway. Uh, got to go down here and uh, fill up the Super S. And I, I need to trim up a tree at this one property. Uh, but like I said, man, I'm just not feeling it today. Not feeling it. Uh, really don't even want to do anything, to be honest. Thinking about just waiting until tomorrow. Because <laughs> I do have a couple of other things to go look at. Uh, but either way, I wanted to bring the Super S down here and uh, go ahead and get it fueled up. And uh, I'll probably go ahead and cut this one property just to get it took care of. Since I'm, I mean, it's only a few miles from the house and uh, probably a mile from where I'm getting fuel. But you just have days like that, man. Mm -hmm. See there? Not to go to sleep on y'all. Um, you just have days where you don't feel it, you know, not feeling good and just kind of dragging. And, you know, when you work for somebody, you can call in and take a sick day. work for yourself uh, unless you got a big crew it's hard to take a sick day man but uh anyway it's all good we're gonna get it done we're gonna make it happen you know that's what you gotta do sometimes you just gotta you gotta work through it you know and uh ain't necessarily the easy thing to do but that's just what you end up having to do so let me get some of this four dollar a gallon gas out here and uh i'll check back with y'all well I decided to go work. Man, I just worked four hard hours. Woo! Well, an hour and a half of it wasn't that bad. The other two and a half hours was rough, man. I trimmed up a tree. Uh, I don't usually record at that property. I could have probably recorded that. That's the same place I did the hydrangeas um, a couple of weeks ago. But I'll throw some pictures in here and let you see them. So check this out. So as you can tell, uh, she wasn't able to see out her window down the road. She likes to just, you know, being able to see traffic come up and down the road. We out in the country. Uh, so. Uh, you know, I got that took care of. I had gave her a price on it last time I was up there cleaning the hydrangeas out, but I didn't have time to mess with it then. And I'm going to tell you, I did not feel like doing it today. Man, I am bragging. I am dragging. I got so much work that could be done. I'm talking about thousands of dollars worth of work that's just waiting on me. And, uh, you know. But, I'll get it when I get it. That's just the way it is.
way it works, you know. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, got two mulch jobs, maybe three. Went by my son-in-law's today. He's got a Polaris Ranger. His light bars quit working, so I had to check his wiring out for him and get that fixed. And while I was there, he said, UPS man. We on first name basis, man. <laughs> uh, UPS man likes to stop in my office and drink a cup of coffee with me. But uh, while I was there, he said, we need the pool area redone. And uh, they got a nice pool area, but you know, the landscape needs some work. And uh, so I said, man, if, if I was doing this, they got some lava rock in a place or two, I think. I was like, if I was doing it, I put mulch down back there. I mean, mulch just looks better to me. It, it lasts longer, you know, all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, so that's another job right there. And uh, do I charge my daughter? Yep. <laughs> I know my son-in-law watches the videos and my daughter watches them sometimes because she commented the other day trying to get some money from me so yeah y'all got to pay man <laughs> uh, hey them young folks you know they able to do it themselves. you know they ain't like some little old lady that uh can't get out there and do it you know but uh Anyway, I got another property I was going to go do, but, and it's, on, it's a half acre, if that, but I just don't feel like doing it, so I'm going to go home and chill out, um, go rub my dog on the head. By the time y'all get this video, which will be, you know, probably a week from now, almost, um, hopefully I'll be feeling better by then. Just got those days where you got to press on, you know, and you got stuff to do. Whether it's ministry or lawn care or construction or, you know, maybe run a restaurant. You know, if you got something, that's, things got to be done, they got to be done. So, let's get out there and do it, man. Do it, man. Anyway, I'm ready to go sit on the AC, man. It is warm here. It's like 83 degrees. And uh, I ain't complaining. I told y'all, I don't complain in the heat. I'll say it's hot, but I'm not going to complain about it being hot. I do all my complaining the three or four weeks of cold we have. So, um, you know. Anyway, we got to go do a cleanup tomorrow. So, and then I think I do mulch on, on Saturday. And then, and then hopefully as far as lawn care goes, You know, that'll be my last Saturday. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, really working on Saturday. A lot of t reasons, a lot of times the reason I work on Saturday, uh, and, you know, this time of year in, in uh, August and September, maybe is, uh, well, really any time. It's because Z-Man and, and 003, you know, they like to work. But uh, 003, got he's got stuff going on for, uh, for a month over a month it'll be sometime in the in the middle of april before he's got another saturday available so he's just gonna miss out on the money you know what i mean oh well 003 ain't gonna be making no money boy but uh anyway you know that's uh that's the way it goes i like to say yeah uh but anyway especially when i'm trying to talk him back up a trailer be backed over something as long as I don't hit that well over there that would really be bad really 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 <clears throat> my church might be mad at me about that man but so yeah we're gonna work tomorrow probably tomorrow and Saturday and I got I need to do two cleanups mulch trim some stuff up in a lady's bed um trying to think i believe that i believe that'll 
I'm not counting if my what my daughter wants done. Well, and I got somebody in town. I got to do that laundry room, and she wants all kind of other stuff done in the yard. So I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, when we get it, we get it. I can't get y'all no footage. I'll just tell you a funny story. How about this? I better keep my glasses on. I'm gonna need them. Uh, so I get home. I got a, a letter here. Department of uh, Veteran Affairs. And uh, so the letter says, I ain't gonna read the whole thing, but let me read part of it. Basically says that they found out that my dad passed away. And it says, you know, if he, did, if he, if he didn't pass away, then he needs to call and let them know he didn't pass away, right? <laughs> and then it says this, if this notice of death was correct, please notify us immediately so that we may terminate benefits and process any additional benefits that the veteran survivors uh, may be entitled to. So I called an 800 number. You know, I shouldn't have even called them, but I called them. And I'm like, uh, <clears throat> you know, you got to go through this whole automated system. And finally, I got a hold of somebody, real nice lady. And she said, you know, she wanted a social security number. I said, all I got is this claim number on the letter y'all sent. I, I don't have a social security number with me. She said, okay, that'll work. So I gave her the number. She just wanted to know his name. I gave her his name. She wanted to know his date of birth. I gave her his date of birth. And then she wanted to know my name. And so I told her my name. And then she said, what can we help you with? <laughs> I said, you can help me with veteran claim number 58. I, I don't say the whole number. I probably shouldn't put that on here. Y'all sent the letter for me to call y'all. The government, man. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I don't know how you can help me. So I read it to her. I said, well, it says that if he died then I need to notify you immediately that you can terminate any benefits and process any uh, additional benefits that the veteran survivors might be entitled to. She said, oh, okay. Well, we've already terminated benefits. I said, okay, well, you know, she, she did say they were sorry about the loss of our veteran and all that kind of stuff, you know, but <laughs> man, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, good news is, though, I had a check in the mailbox for two mulch jobs that I did. That's a nice check. In fishing, that's what we call a big one. That's a big one. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share that story with you. Uh, now, let's get back to the closing of the video. But, hey, I appreciate you uh, tuning in. And uh, I'm sorry you didn't get no footage today, but, you know, it is what it is. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from him. Hope you have a great day.